Hey everyone, what is up? Welcome to Adobe Live and today's masterclass for Creative Cloud Express. Uh, my name is Katrina Trijas and I am the Creative Cloud Express evangelist. Um, and I'm also a content creator and YouTube, uh, a content creator on YouTube and Twitch on the side. How's everyone doing? What is up? Hello, Clever. Hi, Voodoo Val. Hi, Oliver. Hi, Barbara. Oh my gosh, so many people already in chat. Um, and yeah, happy April 1st. It's the first of the month. And with that, I have an announcement. Um, so um, this class is actually canceled. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. I'm just kidding. Happy April 1st, aka also April Fools. I hope you liked my my quick and lame joke. <laughs> um, but I'm super excited to be here today and to teach you all how to create and edit PDFs in Creative Cloud Express. And that is not a joke. We are going to be doing that today. Um, and for today's example, we'll be actually making a media kit or a resume and playing around with some of the new PDF quick actions. Um, so if you're not sure what a media kit, um, it's basically like a document that tells your client everything about your work and your personality as a creator. So this is kind of like the creator or influencer resume. Um, it's really similar to a resume, except that it highlights more on, um, it highlights things such as like social media following, your niche, um, brand voice, the services you offer, um, and also past collaborations um, with brands. Um, I highly recommend having a media kit handy um, if you're looking to get into the influencer space or working with brands in that way. Um, it's just a great tool to have. Um, <laughs> Y'all like the jokes? <laughs> Kiss my creative April Fools, lol. We are no fools. Of course not. I know y'all smarter than this. <laughs> the, negoci the negotiations were short. Yes, General Kenobi, lol. Well, we're just here to have fun. This masterclass, I really want it to be enjoyable, um, fun, really relaxed. Um, and, you know, I lo we like to have fun here. So feel free to pop some jokes or some April Fool's stories in the chat. I'd love to check it out. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into the class. Okay, so we are going to be creating a media kit. So let's first l look up some templates. Media kit. Sweet, okay, so as you can see, there are a bunch of different uh, templates for media kits and as you can see like a lot of them kind of the same thing like they have the social reach a short little about um, bio some stats services offered you know the same kind of um, recipe for a media kit so if you need help getting started and making one um, highly recommend checking out the templates and then making it your own okay so we're gonna work with this one and I'm really excited okay so since we'll be doing some quick actions, um, I'll be making a lot of like the PDF files in here, but not, you know, there are some things in that I want to show that happen in PDF quick actions. So there'll be things. So I will leave some stuff um, unedited and stuff so I can demonstrate for y'all in the quick actions. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, uh, we're going to make this, um, let's, let's use me as an example because we, we love doing that. Okay, so um, for this picture, let's replace it with something, some, some influencer e-photos that I have. So I'm just gonna hit replace. I'm gonna pull in from Lightroom today. Um, there's one photo shoot that I did way back. Where is it? Oh, this one. I really loved this photo. I think this is pretty nice. It's a nice headshot. You can use any photo you want, really, as long as it's, you know, like an accurate representation of your style, your vibe. It doesn't have to be too, like, professional headshotty. Like, a lot of people um, really enjoy, like, lifestyle photos or, like, something candid, something that shows your face, your style, um, and the vibe of your account. Um, okay, so this looks pretty good. Uh, maybe we'll make it a little bit brighter. Um, let's add some enhancements, which is great 
I am so excited for next week's masterclass because we'll be doing um, some photo editing in here. So I'll go more in depth of how to use like the filters, how to enhance your photos, um, all in Creative Cloud Express. Oh, and as well do the image quick actions. So we're diving into those quick actions um, for the next couple of master classes. So really excited. Then we're gonna change the name. Let's make it my name. <laughs> nice backlit. Yes, this shot was really lucky. It was honestly me and like one other blogger friend. We were just outside. It was spring. I think this was spring like two years ago. I think. I can't remember anymore. Oh my gosh, I spelled my last name wrong. Make sure you um, spell your name right. <laughs> <coughs> and we're going to change this. We'll just say like about me, something like that. Make it a little bit bigger. Um, let's actually make the shape a bit. Um, a little bit more padding, okay. Cool. And then for here, we'll just change the name. Katrina. We're going to make this really not messy, but like, you know, we're going to do a lot of stuff in the quick actions. Okay, now we have the blog stats, um, uh, Twitter. I mean, is this Twitter? No, this is Tumblr. This is Tumblr, right? Is this Tumblr or is that Twitter? I don't know. Uh, let's let's find the bird icon. Let's be <laughs> let's be uh let's 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 play it safe. Also, um, uh, shapes came out. If you notice that the icons tab is now called shapes, um, it's still the icons tab where you can search any icons that you want. But if you notice at the top, we do have basic shapes. So that circles, rectangles, we have arches, triangles, lines, fully customizable. You can stretch them, resize them. Um, there's uh, some of the shapes have um, strokes, so you can adjust like the thickness of it, how thin it is, you could take it out completely, still adjust the opacity, apply blend modes. It's really awesome in my opinion. Um, definitely check that out. Um, and I demoed it in yesterday's session. So if you want to check that out after this class, go for it. Okay. Oh, it does not have Twitter. Let's do, oh wait, I'm in basic shapes. Basic shapes. Twitter is a basic shape. <laughs> okay. I just need a bird. Oh, this is cool. Okay. Bird icon. Oh, I was like, where'd it go? It's right here. Here we go. We'll take this out. Is this Tumblr? Is this Tumblr? That's Tumblr, I think. RAP Tumblr. I still have a Tumblr. I used it for my art class in um, college. That's how we were able to post our assignments and stuff. So, of course, you can use the icons to find some quick social media logos, or you can definitely find them on the internet. If you just search up social media dot 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 logo and then bring it in here. Cool. I wish these numbers were real. <laughs> I'm a very small creator, but that doesn't mean I don't land jobs because I have worked with amazing brands as a micro influencer. So if you're trying to get into that space, there is that's a piece of motivation. It doesn't matter your following size or anything like that, um, you can still work with the brands that you love as long as you're producing quality content and art um, and doing what you love. Okay, so I think this will be good. Let's move this up. Oops. Let's fix the spacing. Okay, I hope this math's right. 
hope that math's right. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so this is the first PDF. Um, uh, we're just going to download that as PDF. Boom, first page. And we're going to be making a total of three pages today. So. <coughs> Just bear with me. We are still working on the building blocks. Okay, now we're gonna go here. And we're just gonna duplicate it so everything just moves over. And just in case I need to go back and edit something, I still have a copy of it. I've learned, y'all. Don't just overwrite your projects. Because <laughs> if there's a mistake, you have to start over if you do that. <laughs> <coughs> um, are the shapes vectors um, in terms of vector files I do not believe so but in terms of behavior it is very similar um, okay I guess I can since I mentioned shapes let's go ahead and just demo it really quick um, just to show y'all what it's all about okay let's do rectangle it's my favorite one to work with. So we have the rectangle shape here. Let's actually change the fill. So, oops, I turned it off. And then border, let's put in like a bright border like this. Okay, so with the basic shapes, here's what I mean. So you have the fill and you have the border. For the border, you can make it super thin or like non-existent. And you can also adjust the, the thickness like this or you can take out the border or put it in, or you could also take out the fill. And it's really fun, the opacity, and then norm, like you can also have um, apply the blend modes, multiply, screen, all that stuff. You can flip them, um, and it's all pretty cool. And I'm gonna show the arch really quick. I think the arch one is pretty fun. So here's this, that shape, and then you can, same thing with the stroke, boom, make it thicker, make it thin, and then you have these notches on the side. You can make it wide, or you can also make it tall. There's just a lot more customization options with the basic shapes. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so now we're going to make the second page, which will be our services page. So we're going to go ahead and actually just delete everything here. Um, just get rid of that, just so that we can stay on brand and everything's cohesive. We'll put the title up here, and then we will keep the text blocks. Oh, we are still in this thing. Oh, this became the background. Okay. We'll make it, what was it? What was it? It was like white, off-white. Oh my gosh. Okay, cool. Now we're going to use this text and we can get rid of these icons. And now we're going to make the services page. So we'll call this services and usually media kits are about like one to two pages um but oh my gosh spelling survives services i can spell <laughs> okay and we're just gonna make little sections that are just it's all text hi nika you did that without going into projects what do you mean sean like how did I duplicate without going to projects? I think there's a bar at the bottom that has all your recent projects, like a little menu at the bottom on the home page. Um, that's where I was able to do it. <laughs> um, okay, content creation. So when making your services page, if you're interested in making um, a media kit, People like to um, just state like what types of content and things that they off that they can offer to clients. Um, for my own personal media kit, I do a lot of content creation, so I can do like photography, uh, video, um, blog posts, and all that stuff. That's what I have listed, and then um, you know 
then I'll list out like specifics, like what types of content on social media that brands are looking for. So that's listing things out like TikToks and Reels, um, YouTube videos, um, Instagram posts, Instagram story. Like it's good to like list those out because brands will be specific on like what type of content and on what platform um, that they want to collaborate with you on. So it's good to know, to note on the media kit, like what specific things you offer. So this one will be YouTube videos, TikToks, Reels, Instagram posts, blog posts, IG stories. Oh, let's actually adjust it like this. Um, and then does this look fine? Now here comes the refining. Okay. Let's group this, let's duplicate it. We're gonna have four different sections today. Um, okay. Now we're gonna do social media. So these, this category will be more like things like auditing and stuff like that. By the way, this is a all hypothetical so if you're watching this <laughs> you're like dang she does all of that um this is hypothetical i can do some of these things but <laughs> i definitely can get you a referral if you need some services <laughs> consulting auditing oh my gosh my spelling is weird today Auditing. Okay, and then um wait. Um okay, curating a curating content calendar. Does that make sense? This next one's content calendar, but it's like not in line. I'm looking at my notes, y'all. <laughs> curating a whatever content calendar <laughs> if something better happens that i think of um <laughs> i'll edit it in the quick action <coughs> okay so you have 79 this one will be 79 so it's the same font cool and now we can just duplicate that bring it down here and then Next one will be like design. So we'll do, this is the hypothetical part, y'all. <laughs> Logo design, web design. Oh, that one's for sure hypothetical. <laughs> and <coughs> branding, okay. Mm -hmm. 79 making sure we're using the snapping lines here to line things up make sure things are all straight and then oh oops I didn't change it okay um we'll have content we are not speaking of the spelling y'all don't see it <laughs> marketing Brand collaboration and brand strategy. Oh, that is so vague. Please, if you're making a media kit, make your bullet points a lot more specific than mine. <laughs> okay. Making these capital. Oops. Okay. Um, 
size. And then we'll bring it here, change this to strategy. <laughs> okay, now we're going to just f align this a little bit better. Actually, let's make it bigger. Yay. Okay, and then we're going to add in some things that I've seen on media kits that's really cool. That's, um, I don't think it's on mine, but um, I really love it when people put testimonials. So we're going to put a little testimonial. I just love reading what other um, folks had to say about a creator or someone I want to work with. I think it's so fun. It's a nice touch. Katrina is great to work with. Two thumbs up. Yes. <laughs> um, testimonial. <laughs> cool. Okay. And then we will make it a little smaller. And then does it have, sometimes folks will put it in italic, but I am not sure if Railway has italics. Oops, clicked off. Will it change? I don't think it does. Okay, it's fine. We'll fix it in quick actions. Okay. Here we go. So this is page two. Um, we're going to download this PDF. Start download. And make sure if you want to use the PDF quick actions, you have to download your project in PDF. That was something when I was testing out this um, class. Um, that was something I was missing. I was actually downloading everything in PNG. And I was getting so confused. <laughs> so make sure you know, because it's auto-selected to PNG, um, that you're selecting PDF. Now I want to do this just to make some fun uh, fake believe jobs. Medium haunted house, or medi what? Medium haunted house inspector, Santa cosplayer. Yes, for sure, Wade. <laughs> okay, PDF three. Now we're gonna do another page. Um, which is another section that's common in media kits, and that is to show like the brand logos to show brands that or what brands you've worked with. Um, so we're just separating this out so we can have more pages to work with when we get to the quick actions. Brands I've worked with. <laughs> oh gosh okay um now we're just going to oh we can leave the testimonial here this is fun pretend it says different okay wait hold on um to work with um f five stars <laughs> yay okay so now we're going to put in some logos. Um, and then for this, instead of grabbing real life logos, um, <laughs> which you totally could, um, or which you, you should make sure they're real <laughs> logos and updated logos of the brands that you've worked with. But for today's example, we are going to go in with some shapes. Um, oh, actually, let's do the text ones first, the text logos first. Which, by the way, if you didn't know, we have text logos. So if you need a logo, you can definitely look at these tex text templates and then make them your own. Like this one's cute. Let's add it here. And then we're just going to sprinkle, like this will just be a logo page. So we're going to sprinkle some text logos in here. And then we're going to put in some logos from the shapes tab. <coughs> so 
super fun. Yay. Oh my gosh, this one's so pretty. Um Yes, flying wasps. <laughs> tennis team. <laughs> We've worked with the tennis team. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so we'll leave it like that. And then now we're just going to put in uh, some, like, just image logos. Let's, let's do um, the social media icons. Let's do, let's do YouTube. We've worked with YouTube. We're, we're working with YouTube right now on the stream. <laughs> Please don't let that be an actual reason. <laughs> if you put a YouTube on your, um, your, uh, what's it called? Your media kit. <laughs> Um, okay, so we have that. Let's put like Facebook. Um, let's just do the like. Everyone knows that a like button, you immediately think Facebook, or maybe that's just me. What are they, blue? Oh, 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 here we go. Is that the Facebook blue? I'm just eyeballing a lot of these colors. Let's see how spot on I can get. Um, shapes, um, Pinterest, do we have a Pinterest logo? We don't have a Pinterest logo. Uh, oh, Instagram, Instagram. <coughs> okay, this one's tough because it's not a gradient. So we're just going to make it uh, this color. Oh, maybe I should do the red, uh, like that. Okay, pretend it's a gradient. Let's see, let's look at chat. What are y'all saying? Um, Um, so how do you put all these pages together? Bliss, we will put all these pages together using the PDF quick actions in a little bit. Um. <coughs> Let's see. I am back, but miss most of this. I'll have I'll have to replay. That's fine, Penny. All good. No worries. Okay. So we're making Instagram. Okay, now we're going to arrange this so it's not, you know, like this. <laughs> so we're arranging logos. Since we have a pink logo here, we'll move this. We'll just do like a little alternate kind of situation. Let's put in some blue. Uh, we'll put the flying wasps here and then also if y'all have any questions about this process making PDFs about media kits um, feel free to let me know in the chat okay let's put in another text logo and then another one another um, how do I say this shape logo icon logo just to fill up this page a little bit more. And then last touch, someone, I need another logo. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna find a shape. <laughs> Random shape. Um, 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 um. Am I still on Instagram? Um, um. Um, this one's cool. No, wait, no, no. My favorite shape. The Disney icons. Have y'all seen the updated Disney icons? Actually, I don't know if they're updated, but I've seen a lot of new Disney icons that I have not seen before. Um, so they're new to me, <laughs> but I think they're so fun. Okay. Disney. Okay. This is fine. Eh. Eh. I will make.
make this we'll make this purple I guess that's fine okay so now we have the logo page and we have all three documents ready boom there you go exporting as PDF oh oops I, I started downloading before it saved PDF three and then just to check to make sure everything looks good let's see oh nice so this is what it looks like when you export the PDFs looks pretty good quality's nice edges are sharp that means I got the sizes right nice logos logos looking good cool okay awesome so now that we have these three PDFs now we're going to jump into the quick actions okay so for the quick actions you can see them on the home page right here um, just click on PDF and we'll tackle these three right here because these are the newest ones and since we have PDF files you know we don't need to convert it to a PDF um, and we don't need to convert or we could convert from PDF but we're working in PDFs today so the first quick action we're going to tackle is how to edit text and images how does this work so we're going to click on the quick action I'm going to browse on our device but you can also drag and drop um, we'll do PDF page one. So it's going to upload the document, read all the text on it and um, the images. And then from there, um, you can update, um, what's it called? You can update the text box, which we'll do right here. Um, and then, you know, just make those changes and stuff. And you can also change up images as well or not change up. You can, you can't change out images, but you can like flip them or like rotate them. Um, and you can also add text as well. Okay. Oh my gosh. It is so zoomed in. I need to like back up <laughs> really quick. So this is what it looks like. Um, can I go back? Okay. You know what? I don't know what that'll do, but we'll do that. Um, okay. So we have the text and as you can see, it, um, took out what's it called railway, which is, um, one of the main text styles we ha text styles we have on the PDF. So from there you could just highlight the text, delete it. And it's just like a text box. So we'll write an actual bio now. So <clears throat> let's say Katrina Trios is a content creator based in the Bay Area, California, um, bio. Um, she is the creator. <laughs> I'm just going to say what I do at the beginning of every stream. She's the creative. Oh, no, no, I should say Adobe. She's the Adobe Creative Cloud Express Evangelist and is a content creator. Okay, I already said content creator on the first sentence. Um, video creator on YouTube and a gaming streamer on Twitch. Yay. Okay. <laughs> and then from there, oh my gosh, this menu is blocking. That's okay. We zoom out even more. Um, from there, you can also adjust the like the numbers. Let's say if numbers changed, you can edit this. And as you can see, you cannot edit any icons. Um, and I'm assuming the 50K, 55K, 52K, um, either that is a up a, like a special font that wasn't read or anything like that. Um, or it could be an image. I am not too sure. I should have checked. Um, but if ever like the text does not get detected, um, that means, you know, the PDF quick action, it did not pick it up and you'd have to go back into the project to edit that text if you want to. Um, so let's say like we mixed up these numbers. Um, we can move the text around like this and it has like the the grid lines. So let's say instead of 50K followers, it's 50K monthly unique visitors. So you can rearrange it like this. 
and it's super like fast and intuitive like i don't know if you can see my cursor maybe i'll zoom into the document a little bit um but like it's really nice and <laughs> responsive um okay and then we'll just do that and there you go and then with the image um like i said earlier you can't change images um but you can move them around like so and then you can also rotate them um and then i thought you could flip but you cannot um flip um oh you can also delete there image is gone there's also an undo button and a redo button so very light editing version of um editing pdfs but i feel like if you know this quick action is made for like minor tweaks and stuff so let's say you have an old document that you need to change the date or you need to like update a bio or uh, or something like that um definitely quick actions is the way to go otherwise more hefty edits like really editing like images icons design assets all that stuff i highly recommend just going back into the editor and doing it that way um okay cool so that is the first quick action let me know your thoughts um steve i'm also an nba backup player <laughs> nice um i'll try spinning them that's a good trick there's another feature request over scroll um, yeah, so for any feature requests or any like feedback, feel free to leave them in the Creative Cloud Express Discord server or um, we have a user voice as well where you can leave feedback that we read often. Oh, and in the Facebook group as well, the Creative Cloud Express Insiders Facebook group. Um, it's a great place for feedback um, as well as feature requests. Um, okay, so next we're going to tackle organized pages. And I think this one would probably be my most favorite um what's it called my most favorite quick action of the three so for here um you can organize different pages in an existing pdf or you can like add pages and stuff like that and as you can see you can there are it supports a lot of different file formats so not just pdfs um, you can also upload excel sheets microsoft powerpoints pngs jpgs rtf uh, microsoft um documents as well so it does not have to be all in pdfs because when you export everything it'll actually export every single page in pdf which is really nice okay cool so we're just going to get on here and then we have these three we're just going to select them all bring them in <coughs> and then just let it do its thing Mm -mm. <clears throat> you can also merge the PDFs into one in Acrobat. Yes, definitely. Uh, these quick actions are like a very light form of what you can do in Acrobat. So, um, yeah, I would say if you're just an exclusive like Creative Cloud Express user, um, What's it called? You get some of the capabilities of Acrobat and the quick actions. Okay, so we have the, as you could, as you saw, and I started doing before explaining, <laughs> it uploaded the pages in a different order. So in order to organize pages, it's super easy. You just click on it and you can drag them into any order. So you wanna move this one here. We can move this one on the second page or the third page. Um, and then, oh, oops, I selected both. My bad. Oh my gosh. I need to, un okay, uncheck before moving. <laughs> okay, so if this is the order I want, um, you can also select all, and then you can actually rotate them. So if you need, you know, if the page is backwards or it's like landscape or portrait and you want it a different way, you can rotate the PDFs. You can also delete pages, um, and you can also extract pages. So you can upload a whole pdf document and if you want to just take out like one or two pages from it you just click it and then hit extract pages and then it'll just <coughs> download the pages that you want um, from the pdf stack 
Um, and then you can also add more pages if you'd like. And then you can just click where you'd like to add a page. Um, and it's just, I don't know. I just really love this quick action. I feel like you could do so much with it. And a lot of the times I do need to like reorganize files or put PDFs together. Um, and this is like really like where the magic is for me. So, okay. So now we're going to download all three pages and it's going to download it all into a single PDF file, which is what um, I think Bliss was asking in chat. So we'll name this Katrina Media Kit. All right. Got it. Okay. And then also since it is new, um, <clears throat> I like to double check my work. I mean, in general, I like to double check my work anyways. But with new features, I like to just double check to see like how it turns out. And if I notice there's something that bugged out or something like that, um, that is a nice like learning moment for us um, for you to repeat to report as like feedback or a bug report or something if something doesn't turn out uh, a certain way, especially with new features, because we really appreciate it when things are called out to the team. But everything looks pretty good. Okay, so now for the last quick action, we'll be talking about combining files. <coughs> so combining files and organizing files I found are a bit similar, um, but combined files I would say like um, is more focused on taking like two different like PDF stacks and just combining them into one is as best I could put it. Um, and again, like it supports different file formats such as like PDF, Excel, PowerPoint, PNG and all that stuff. So it's really, it's really nice. And I think the sole purpose of this quick action versus organized pages is um, it uploads it like as the stack. So you can't really organize them in this quick action specifically. Like if you just want to put one file and another file together without changing anything about the order, the, you could do it that way. Um, okay, cool. So we're just going to drag this in here. This is similar to how I use, how to use Paperport. Yes, I have never used it, but I'm glad it is similar. Um, happy Friday. Who else is in chat? Hello, Umacorn. Hello, Tim. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> I update the masterclass spreadsheet the week after the broadcast. <laughs> nice. Okay. Again, I'm going through this pretty fast, and we do have we will have some extra time um, at the end of the class. So if you have any questions at all, any comments, any reactions, uh, feel free to leave them in chat because we'll have a little bit more time for conversating. Okay, so we have this right here, and now I want to add some files. Um, so we'll add some after. So let's throw in something like random. So remember from the, uh, I think this was a masterclass. Oh, the branding masterclass. We're gonna throw in some logos, just some random things that aren't all PDFs, just so you could see how like the PDF and like PNGs and stuff go together. So it'll look like this. Um, and since I uploaded the PNGs, they're separate files, they weren't a stack, they appeared like this. But if I wanna show another stack, let me see. Oh, let's add, let's add, let's add the media kit again. <laughs> let's do it again. So you can see that this PDF, it says page one, one through three. So the one dash one is like the page, like how many pages are in that document. So, um, yeah. So if you, do a PDF in like a stack that has like what 50 pages? I believe you can go up to like 50 pages. It could be more, it could be wrong on that, but up to 50 pages, um, what's it called? Is what you can upload in like these stacks. Um, so I can't edit any of the pages in the stack one through three, but because I have these indiv individual pages, you know, you can of course change the order in these as well. 
So just something to note. And I checked everything again. Okay, we'll put we'll put the media kit in the front and at the back. And then once you hit download, it'll download everything as a PDF document. Um, okay, this is uh, oh I appreciate that. Very interesting. Hi Omicorn! <coughs> Welcome to the stream. Okay, so let's see. Okay, let's check it out. Let's open it. Nice. Looking good. As you can see, the export is, the quality of this export is really good. I just, I'm blown away. And then we have the Instagram, the mood board, all in PDF format here too. Remember when we did this? This felt like forever ago. How many classes was that ago? And then we have the logos. And then the, what's it called? What was this? The color palette. And we have the media kit again. <laughs> so that is the combined PDF quick action. Yes, that's pretty good. Okay, cool. So those were the three PDF quick actions. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the chat. Um, to go over the other ones, we have also convert from PDF. It's just to, you know, if you've never looked at the quick actions before, let's just go through it. Um, so convert from PDF, we will take, let's do page one. And then you can export the file into something else the drop down does not work for me today give me one second sometimes if the drop downs don't work um <laughs> it's definitely i've experienced that my browser sometimes uh glitches but that's just that's just me that's a that's a my pc problem <laughs> definitely um but let's do it again all good highly recommend just refreshing the tab and going for it. Oh, and by the way, PDF Quick Actions is only available on desktop for now. Uh, in case you were wondering. Okay, so here's the drop down. You can export as an Excel, PNG, JPG, RTF, all of these documents, document type files, file types. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna hit download. And then it's just going to convert it and then download to our device. Um, if I create a P uh, and coming soon with the April 1st update, slow actions, <laughs> thinking actions. <laughs> um, if I create a PDF from a page by using print to PDF, can I upload it to express and edit? If not, what can I do to make it editable? Um, I believe if it is in a PDF format, it should read the text and images it should um if it's in just as long as it's in that pdf format um yeah and if it doesn't work then there's probably something in the file or the coding that's making it um what's it called um uneditable and in that case, I would like to call on chat to see if anyone has found any solutions because I have actually have not um, experienced that use case using the um, web page and making it editable as a PDF. Got it. Okay. And then for convert to PDF, we will take... Um, is it in fold? Oh gosh, I need to remember where I put my things. Folders. Let's do an IG graphic, that's fine. And we're gonna make this into a PDF. It previews what it is, and then after that it downloads, or you have to hit download, and then you'll be able to save it as a PDF. So those are a bit of the PDF quick actions. Um, and then I guess we could talk a little about next week's masterclass. We will cover images and image editing. So I'm going to go over all the different filters, the blend modes, um, 
what's it called? We have a new quick action uh, for images, which is the crop. This was not here before, but now you can just take a photo and then just crop it down to the size that you want and then be on your way. And then we're going to use all of these quick actions for the class for next week. Um, but yeah, maybe I should preview. This is actually really easy to use as well. Since we've reached the end, I can't believe we ended early on <laughs> today's masterclass that we're previewing that we're getting started on the next one. You know, the next class starts right now, okay? <laughs> and I have the spinny wheel of, of death. <laughs> of, girl, you are clicking way too much. <laughs> okay, there you go. Um, I need a picture. Let's do... The color palette, I really need to save images on my computer, like more, more, have more headshots and stuff ready on my desktop. That's, that's another tip. If you have some, if you, if, if a brand or anyone requires a headshot or like if you have to submit headshots regularly for work, I highly recommend having just a folder on your desktop, um, just <laughs> with, <laughs> uh headshots okay so crop images <laughs> back on back on track um so this is a little preview of what the crop image um quick action is so you have a free form box it's really simple to use you just crop it uh to what you want hit download let's save it and then it's done it is literally this this quick action just, it was just too quick, man. <laughs> um, <clears throat> does Express do OCR? Can you explain uh, what OCR is, Steve? I am unfamiliar, or if anyone in chat can explain. Um, what else? Oh, another update that happened. Um, drag and drop has happened in addition to basic shapes. We kind of cover that a lot. I can show y'all drag and drop by the way there will be um a new video on the creative cloud express youtube channel covering all of the latest features that happened this month and one of those things was improved drag and drop so if we're gonna go through it really quick um so i deleted one of the logos so for the drag and drop really it's just an improvement on the behavior of drag and drop so if you just click on should i do this one I haven't done it with a text before. That's a little risky. Let's do a design asset. <laughs> so if you take something, <coughs> drag, like, so if you take an asset from the side menu and then bring it onto the canvas, it'll just pop up exactly where you want it. Um, and then also, if you zoom in just a little bit, I know before, um, wait, let me actually see if I do it right. So if I click the same asset and I put it in there. So, okay, so I'm not crazy. Okay, so before, every time you drag and dropped an asset from the menu onto the canvas zoomed in, it would zoom you back out. So this time, as you can see, it didn't do that. So you can be zoomed in, drag an asset, and then it just pops in right there. And then a really s small but nice um, update that also happened. Oh my gosh, the side my side folders is going crazy. Is when you drag and drop from something like your from your desktop onto um, your project, a nice little what's it called overlay pops up. So I'll click this. So if you can see, it says drop to add your file you can add a png jpg or jpeg jpeg to your project so it actually tells you the file types that you can drag and drop into the project which is really nice but yeah just some updates of i gave you all a preview of next week's class as well as an update on the latest features and so with that we are at 10 25 
which means that is the end of today's class. I hope you all enjoyed and got some inspiration from the stream. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the Creative Cloud Express channel for more live streams and um, content just like this. But happy Friday, y'all. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you next time. All right. Bye.